What's up, all my fellow speedsters, all men, humans, throughout the multiverse, and come here. Welcome back to another reaction on the channel so today. We'll be reacting to My Hero Academia Season 6, Episode 4. And man, the last episode was tragic. Like, we got our, I think that was our first, like, big, tra uh, that was our first casualty of this whole war. So, man, RIP uh, twice, man. He was the one villain I actually liked. And man, I've, for him man um and as much as i hate to say it i honestly don't know what else hawks could have done because um twice was still alive he was going to be a problem for the hero so unfortunately this is a war so this was a very tough decision for them to do so man oh, like that, that was uh it's a tough decision it's really a tough decision um, but I honestly, th um, think, like, Hawks did the best he could under the circumstances, so, but man, uh, I just felt so bad for him, man. Um, uh, we also got to see, um, um, uh, that fight between Hawks and Twice was really good, uh, and the inclusion of Dobby in there, too, and especially, uh, the final goodbye between Twice and Toga, man, they actually made me care about the villains, which I think is... Uh, really good writing for this show, and man, I just, I am very curious how they're really gonna, um, wrap this whole story up, um, and what else is gonna happen in this fight, and how many other casualties are we gonna get, because I feel like we're probably gonna, um, we're probably gonna get some from the hero side, too, I'm very curious who, who else is gonna bite it, but, um, uh, we'll, we'll see, without further ado, this is gonna be my reaction to My Hero Academia Season 6, Episode... Um, episode 4, without further ado, let's jump right to it. That's true. <laughs> oh, Mount Lady in the back. <laughs> oh, is Tokuyami gonna step in and save Hawks? Oh, this is not good. Oh, おのおの温度がどんどん上がってやがる。よくも。あいつを殺したな。あいつが入りゃ。あいつの個性があれば、俺の夢はより確実に叶ってたんだ。yeah, what was that about? Because he knows who he is. What? What? Are we not? Oh, so they... So they do know each other. So are we not gonna find out, man? Oh. So Stainisla is who he looks up to. I wonder if we will ever see Stain again. It's been a hot minute since we heard from Stain. Oh, okay. Giganto Machia just chilling there. Did they? Is that all one Nomu, or did they like merge into one? Oh, are they adapting? Oh, Jesus! Oh, her leg, too? Oh, Jesus! Her other leg, too? Endeavor, you better get here, bro. Oh, nice, okay. Oh, 
Oh, damn, we're at the halfway point already? I keep forgetting how short these episodes are. Nice, okay. All right, the teamwork. I like this. We are seeing some of the heroes that we've seen a little bit of, but not working together like this. This is dope. Seventy-four percent. Oh, is she like the smartest one? Man, like the high end seem like they're evolving more and more and the more we see them. Oh, what the hell? Oh no, this is not good. Aya, Jesus. Oh, she did it! She did it! She broke the capsule. Yeah, there's too many of them. They are, there's not enough heroes right here. Mike! All right, he could shatter the he could shatter the capsule with his uh, scream. Oh, nice. Okay. Damn, we've never seen Mike this serious before. I like it. Oh no. I like this. Oh, he's the one that came up with the singularity theory. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So all for once been around for 120 years? Oh, they want... A okay, that makes sense, because that quirk is very useful. The hell is this? Oh, he kind of looks. It kind of looks like um what happened to Midoriya when he was in that um um uh, world in his mind with the other one for all users, except it was black and red instead of black and green. So is this is this like Shigaraki's version of that? Oh yeah, that's what all the hands represented, right? Yeah, they explained that last season. Walking further into the darkness. Oh, this is not good. Okay, this dude's dead. No, what? That was, oh man, that was short. All right, guys, so that was My Hero Academia Season 6, Episode 4. Good follow-up, Episode 2, Episode 3. We got, uh, we got a little bit of, we didn't get a full confirmation of who Dobby's real identity is, but, um, it does seem like him and Hawks probably knew each other at some point. That's why he knows his identity, and when Dobby told him his name, even though it was muted, Hawks felt like he knew it, so I'm um, definitely thinking they're probably going to reveal that in later episodes, hopefully. I'm very curious who Dobby actually is. Um, hmm. No, that, 
Is it? Is he like that Todoroki son that died? Is it? Is that why he has like a little bit of a thing with Endeavor? I don't know. Actually, no. That that won't. Actually, I don't know. Maybe if they wanted to go down that route, or he's probably just some other character that Hawks knew. Um, because they, I think in that flashback, they said that they were sending him off to, like, some special training thing, so that's probably, uh, what they're gonna do. Um, so maybe he met Dobby, whoever he was, at that special facility where he got his training. That's my theory. Um, I'm very curious, um, to see where all these different fights go, because, uh, um... Shigaraki's awake now, so that's gonna be another big problem right now. Cause uh, they already have the heroes are already dealing with enough right now. Um and all they really have their only big gun right now is Endeavor and Deku, and that's about it. I'm also very curious if that little sequence with Shigaraki's family and all for one, like is that like his version of his, of the alternate world that Deku was in that we saw when he first got Black Whip? That eh. I'm wondering if that's if it's something similar to that because the way um, All for One's face was covered with that um weird aura, it looked like what ha what was happening with Deku, um uh, when he was covered with all that stuff. Except with Deku it was like a black and green, where All for One was black and red. So I'm wondering if it's something similar to that because One for All did originate from All for One. Like All for One technically created One for All when he gave the um. What was it? The stockpiling quirk to um, his little brother, and then it when they combined, um, the because his little brother had the ability to pass down quirks, and so when that stockpiling quirk it combined into one for all. So I'm wondering if it's because one for all originated from all for one. That's why it looks that way. Is that maybe it's connected somehow? I'm not sure. So I'm hoping we find more about that. Uh, Mirica really. <clears throat> Like she really went through it, man. Like I honestly think she's probably one of my favorite char favorite new characters right now, and she did a lot of damage. And I'm curious to know how far into development are these high ends because they're damn near like humans almost. Like especially that one Nomu that was high that was running away from a uh, uh, racer head because um uh like she had almost like a genius level intellect. So maybe she was like um. Maybe she was a genius beforehand, before she became a Nomu. Like, maybe she was, like, a doctor or something. That's why she, her, her, she has such a high IQ. So, I'm very curious to see how... Find out more about the whole Nomu, like, uh, production and all that. Curious to see what the other fights. And I think Tokoyami is probably going to leave uh, Fat Gum and go save uh, Hawks. Because right now, Hawks... Hawks got his most of his feathers burnt off by um, uh, Dobby. So, I'm very curious to see how he's going to make it out of that. Unless they decide to kill off Hawks, you know, you never know, because, um, that guy that was with Shigaragi, he's definitely dead, uh, and we're probably gonna, this, I can see this be one of the more darker, uh, My Hero arcs, because I think we're gonna have a lot of casualties in this big battle, so, very curious to find out, I'm very curious to, to see, um, when Deku's gonna get involved, because, um, I don't think we saw Deku, uh, in, like, either of these episodes, so we've mainly focused on some of the other characters, which I do like, because, um, even though not a lot of people like the joint train arc, I personally like the joint train arc because it put focus on all these other side characters we don't really spend a lot of time with. So I'm very curious to see, um, how this whole arc is going to wrap up and how does the story go from here. But anyway, guys, yeah, I'm going to end it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and message for content. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.